In case you are unaware or need a little reminder, these are the Ten Commandments of Southern Thanksgiving. Number one, thou shalt bring exactly what you said you'd bring. If you tell everybody that you're bringing the sweet potato casserole with a little bitty marshmallows on top, then by God, that is exactly what you bring. Don't pull a McDonald's on us and give us somebody else's order. And now is not the time to be experimenting with the recipes either, okay? I can think of 364 other days of the year where I would like to try your cornflake sweet potato casserole, but that day is not today. Do you want to be the one in charge of bringing the solo cups next year? Because that's how that happens. Number two, thou shalt fend for thyself Thanksgiving morning and probably Thanksgiving Eve. If your kitchen ain't covered in prep work for Thanksgiving meals by 2 p.m. on Wednesday, then you're probably having Thanksgiving dinner at the Cracker Barrel. Because of course the cooking starts way before the main event, so you can forget about eating in there until Thursday. Probably at 2 p.m. because Granny's gonna wait until everybody's there and then she's gonna pray. And that's gonna take at least 45 minutes. Number three, Thou better not wait until the last minute to get your french fried onions, your pimentos, or your Milo sweet tea because the Walmart will run out. Plus, have you ever been to Walmart on the week of Thanksgiving? Because it is a madhouse. It looks like somebody just kicked an anthill the way everyone's running around, but instead of ants, it's ants with a U. And they've all got buggies. And they will bite if you grab that last can of Ocean Spray Cranberry Sauce. Number four, thou shalt leave those pretty little pumpkin and turkey shaped plates at home. Yours, not mine. Those things are too dang small and they are not rated to handle the weight of more than two and a half crescent rolls. You're gonna need the chinette plates and I'm talking about the platters, okay? And don't even bother with the compartment ones because we put our plates together like we do our family gatherings with a lot of hugging. Number five, do not covet thy neighbor's chair. Every time that I've ever seen Thanksgiving depicted on TV or in the movies, everybody's sitting around this nice huge table with a perfectly set Thanksgiving dinner. But never once in my life have I seen that in person. You're just lucky to get a chair down here. Forget about one that matches everybody else's. And there's a hierarchy to chairs in every Southern house. First, the good chairs, the ones that all match, go to the elders. Next come the camping chairs and probably a random computer chair. That goes to the rest of the adults. That's a free for all. Lastly are the kids and they can just sit on some random bucket like a ice chest or probably just the floor because there ain't no kids table down here. If we had an extra table, it's probably holding more food. Number six, honor thy dressing and never call it stuffing. We don't do stuffing down here. I'm talking about the stuff that usually comes out of a box it's dry, and the only way you're gonna get people to eat it is if you hide it in the turkey. We do dressing, and I am telling y'all, a good cornbread dressing is a piece of art and a labor of love. And if your job is to bring the cornbread dressing to the house on Thanksgiving, that's the highest honor you can get, even more than the turkey. What I'm saying is there's no love in stuffing, okay? They didn't even love it enough to name it. They just called it stuff Ing. Number seven, honor the egg bowl. It's no secret that we love football down here. And of course, we're gonna watch the Lions play whoever, but what we really care about is college football's probably most underrated rivalry, the Egg Bowl. That's Mississippi State versus Ole Miss, and it is guaranteed to be the most entertaining sporting event of the year because I'm telling y'all, Mississippi knows the whole South is watching, and they do not hesitate to show us they're crazy. Number eight, thou shalt not murder. Now this one may look familiar because, you know, it's a real commandment. But when you get all that family together under one hot roof, there is going to be some family drama that comes bubbling to the top. Keep your cool, count to ten, do whatever it is you need to do so you're not cussing or fighting in front of granny because she will murder you. And none of these rules apply to her. That lady does what she wants. Number nine, remember the ice and just go ahead and get an extra bag. It never fails. You think that ice machine in your fridge is gonna be enough, but it never is. That baby has about 20 good cubes left in her before she takes the rest of the day off and nobody wants warm tea, except like the rest of the world. But I bet their Thanksgiving sucks. <laughs> Number 10, thou shalt welcome everyone. In all seriousness, Thanksgiving is a time to be thankful for the things we have, including the love of family and friends. And there's no better time to let that Southern hospitality shine. So welcome everybody in. And if this is your first Thanksgiving in the South, well then I welcome you. Prepare to be hugged against your will. Also, someone's gonna hand you a country crock container later. It's full of beans.
probably. Just take it home.